Right. Yeah. Okay, I talk about the Jewish people are thinking about the book of the Jewish people are thinking about the book of life at this time and now I think that today they need to know one thing uh, in order to be inscribed in the book of life now God has had only one plan of salvation and you know there's not many play, not many ways uh, that there are you know it's only one way there's only one God so there's only one way and one man Sin, he made a plan of salvation after he questioned a man and woman, then talked to the servant with no questions, judgment. It was the end for the serpent. And he, he promised him the seed of the woman would be a virgin born Messiah who would bruise his heel, who would bruise his heel, and the serpent would bruise his head. And, and now we know, you know, that. We're not trying to start a new religion. I'm not looking to start a new religion. What I'm just realizing the way it was a long time ago. When I when I saw about you saw being the Messiah, I wondered what went wrong and what you know, where did everybody go wrong? The Jews and the non Jews. And you know, God had a plan. He said a, a virgin birth, he promised in seven fourteen a virgin would conceive. People want to think that this whole virgin birth thing happened out of a clear blue sky, but God didn't, uh, you know, bring it unannounced. He primed it. Uh, you know, you read um, Isaiah 53, and, you know, it starts, you know, for the Jewish people, it starts in Isaiah 52, 13, you know, about Amen. when they would, that he, he would, people wouldn't want to look at him. And then he goes in, says that he was bruised for our iniquities, uh, he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity, the stripes, the, the punishment, uh, the, by his stripes we are healed. Now this doesn't talk about Israel, this is about one Jew being a scapegoat. Amen. The Messiah being a scapegoat for all <laughs> yes. sin and illness. Yes, yes, yes. And it, you know, he goes, there's a connection back, in, you know, Isaiah chapter 50, verse 6, he says, he gave us back to the smiters, and uh, my cheeks to them that plucked off the beard. That, you know that we realized that he was just we, we turned our faces away from him what I'm saying is that the only way to reach out to the God of Israel to the creator there's only one God who created us all as the image and chose the Jewish people out of all nations to be the bearers of his word and to be the one through whom uh, salvation would come to all the world Amen. now if you want your name to be there you have to recognize that Yeshua is a Messiah. You want your name in the book of life. Amen. You know, uh, um, that, that's what has to be, and that's where your name will be inscribed. Because there is, it does say about the books were open in, in Revelation, the end of Revelation chapter 20. <laughs> and it says that the dead would, you know, judge out of all these books and that he said, whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Uh, that, you know, we're thinking, you know, Jewish people think about heaven and hell, but, you know, there was one whom the Lord sent, who God sent to keep, save us all from hell, to be the uh, propitiation for our sins, that he who knew no sin became sin for us, uh, that we would be the righteousness of God. And today, now, it's, today is the Shabbat uh, this year for um, Rosh Hashanah. So tomorrow, the Jewish people will be going by the water uh, to, to do what's called Tashlik. And that means to, you will cast out. And that's taken at the end of Micah chapter 7. Hmm. He says, you will cast out our sins, Tashlik, our sins. And, you know, it's not by opening up your pop, pulling out your pockets and brushing them out. You know, you have to have it for by, purged out by the blood of the Lamb. That's what that uh, in Leviticus chapter uh, 17, verse 11, that the life of the flesh is in the blood and that Man. God put it upon the altar to make an atonement for our sins, for the blood that makes atonement. And that uh, in the 
new covenant, the Brit Hadashah, it says that by, uh, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So if you want your name, your name in the book of life, if you want your sins cast out, you must receive, realize that Yeshua is the Messiah and he took your place. And he was the one who knew no sin and became sin for us that so we would become the righteousness of God. Amen. 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 You and I agree, man. Bless you, Wayne.